This is George with Melnik Automotive. In this video, I would like to show you something uh, I've never done before. I mean, I've never showed before, uh, but I think it's time to go ahead and uh, kind of uh, show you something that's really cool out there in the market. Um, anytime your airbags have deployed in a vehicle, um, in this case, we're working on a 2015 Nissan Rogue. It's the same through 20, I think, 19, even though the body style slightly changes, but the modules are pretty much the same. So anytime your airbags deploy here, anywhere in a roof, in my case, I had the roof deployed and the seat was deployed. What you have to do, you have to go ahead and replace uh, airbag control module. And they look, uh, on Nissan, they normally black, just like this. And other vehicles, they, you know, they look like that, that's a Subaru module. But they always look very similar. And most of the time, they're located right next uh, next to the guest pedal. Sometimes they're underneath the center console, like right there on the bottom. So what we have to do right now, we either go have to, if you went to the dealer, they'll tell you to replace this module. And this module is about 600 bucks. I mean, they vary from 400 to about six, 800 bucks. Um, a lot of times you could go ahead and remove it. You can send it to us. We can rewrite it because we have a software to rewrite it and make this module like virgin again. And it's going to be like brand new when you put it back in a car. But there's a new software that came out and I'm going to show you, which allows you to do, uh, to do a via OBD2 a connector like this. It will do uh, all vehicles with Infineon modules. It will do Max. Um, you could read Renaissance, but it will not let you write Renaissance right through OBD2. You could do it on the table, but uh, but I'm going to show you just just in a second. As you could see, I'm connected. I'm connected via my scan tool, and I'm going to go ahead and show you that we can't clear the code. And as you could see, I'm going to have I have a couple lights in the dash, but I specifically want you to take a look at the airbag light right there. My airbag light is not going away. I have ABS traction light, but that's total different systems. I still got to work on those systems. In this video, I'm only showing you how to go ahead and rewrite the module via this system. And you can contact me and uh, I'll let you know where you can obtain it. So take a look. What I'm going to do right now, I'm going to try to connect to the airbag system. And I'm going to show you it's going to have a hard code. It's only one code, okay? It says B1423 rollover detection. Basically, what that means, it's the same as like 1650 code. Basically, what that means is the crash stored and locked. It's not going to go anywhere. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to I'm gonna try to go ahead and clear it. Clear fold code. Hit yes. It says clear fold code completed. As you can see, nothing has happened on my dash. The light is still there. If I go back to read the code, it's going to be right back in the system. So check this out. We're back with that code. So this is where it gets really good. You don't have to replace this module. Like I said, if you're a body shop, it's worth investing in one of these tools. And I'm going to show you how that works. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to go ahead and unplug my Bluetooth. I use launch connector. So here's what I'm going to do right now. I'm not going to take out the module. I'm going to do it right in the car. I'm going to read it and I'm going to write it right through OBD2 connector. As you can see, I plugged that in. That goes straight to my laptop. Okay, I have my software open. Like I said, you can contact me. Um, and as you can see, this is a Nissan Infineon. Watch my screen. So I'm gonna hit read ID. As you can see, it connected to the vehicle. This is my part number of the module. 988-204-4B Apple 0A. So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna hit read EEPROM. Okay, I'm gonna hit read EEPROM, it's booting. And as you could see, it started reading my module right through OBD2. As you could see, it's reading it right now. Make sure you have a good battery when you per do this procedure. And this is, like I said, this is really for professional use. I don't recommend anybody uh, doing this if you have really no knowledge about airbag systems and things like that but like I said there's no need in replacing these modules no need they're 100% rewritable
but you do have to replace all the blown airbags and seat belts any crash sensors that have been damaged you have to replace so as you can see it's reading as we speak and I'm gonna go ahead and pause it for a second so I don't have you wait the whole time it takes about two or three minutes but it's way better than pulling the module out of the car you could do it right on the car via OBD2 and then once I rewrite the module I'll show you that the code will be gone and the airbag light will be gone and currently the airbag light is on with that code I'll resume when my line's almost done. You could see um, it said that it read it saved a backup. That's where I have a backup dump, a crash dump that has been uh, saved. And it says disconnect power for 10 seconds. So we're going to go ahead and turn off our power. We're going to hit OK. And I'm going to show you the dump. As you could see right here, we have a dump here. And as you can see, there's a part number of the module right here. I'm going to kind of scroll through it, scroll through it, and just show you what the file kind of looks like. I'm kind of skipping through real fast. But uh, what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to hit crash reset. And as you can see, it says crash found. Hit clear for yes. Okay, so it went ahead and took the crash out. It took the hard codes out. And then I'm going to scroll through. Normally what it does, um, it will uh, remove the crash like it did before. Now I'm going to turn the power back on. Okay, and now I'm going to hit right EEPROM. And as you can see, right now it's writing clear dump um, on the module. So basically, it's putting a, putting a virgin data, clean dump with no crash data, back on that module. And I'm doing all of this via OBD2. As you can see. I'm also going to pause it, and then as soon as it gets very close, I'll show you, and then I'm going to show you when it's done writing that the airbag light will go out. The module is going to be like new again, and that's going to, that's a savings of, I think that module's around 600 some dollars, 680 so I could be wrong, but I know need some pricey modules. All right, as you can see, it's finishing right up. It says disconnect the power. So what it did, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna turn off the power. You have to wait approximately 10 seconds. I'm gonna hit okay. And we're done. So right now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and start the car. I'm gonna press the brake and start the car. You'll see my airbag light will come on and go out there you go you just saw me removing the crash data on the module via OBD2 like I said ignore my traction control ABS and uh, low tire pressure light because that's a totally different system I still gotta work on that but that's how you remove a crash data with software that I have contact me don't call me just try to contact me via email um, it's Melnix automotive at yahoo.com I'll get you I'll connect you with the right people that could help you out to obtain the software um, once again thanks for watching this was George with Melnix automotive